How's it going out there? This is Feed Your Mind. And in today's video, we're going to discuss silent prayer. And so silent prayer is something that I believe most people do. Probably across all religions, for sure in Christianity. And it's something that is picked up on very early in life. I don't even think everybody is specifically told about how to do it or anything. They just know that you can do it. I think like, I mean, some people probably, some kids probably saw their parents do it. I don't know. Like, but I just know it's something that everybody knows how to do and everybody does it pretty much. And I suspect in all religions, they probably do that. So there's a clue in the Bible that will explain what's going on here because most people think of God as only in a specific place. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that, uh, especially mainstream uh, Christianity. Um, like, So when you think of God, do you think of him in a specific place? I mean, that could be true, but I think there could be more to it as well because if everything is contained within God, because nothing exists without God, that means all things are God, like part of God, like like I explained to you before. Like if you if you dream, you're in a world. That world is within you, within your consciousness, most likely. And so this is like a clue about reality. So um, if you can create a world in your dream where you can live and be alive and conscious and uh, everything is real in that place then that could be a clue as to how this world exists and so we could be living in the mind of God so in um in the Bible 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16 I shared this with you before but it says do you not know that you yourselves are God's temple and the spirit of God dwells in you. So it's, it's saying like, do you not know? Because it, I, I think that makes sense because nobody really knows. Like, it seems like, like this is not common ins information, especially in mainstream religion uh, and mainstream Christianity. I don't, you don't really hear this verse too much. I mean, because it's saying, do you not know as if the book knows that you're probably going to find the scripture later on in life, almost like, because it's, it's like the, the Bible knows, like you, most people say, well, will agree that they think they say God, you know, inspired the Bible. So the Bible can, it's like a living book. It can predict things and. And no, you know, it's a very wise book. And so for it to say, do you not know that you yourselves are God's temple? It's the book is like predicting that you probably don't know the way it's phrased. Like it's phrased as if you probably don't know this. And so it says you yourselves are God's temple and God's spirit dwells in you. So, I mean, there's nothing to really um, guess. There's no real guesswork in that. You know, it says God's spirit dwells in you. And dwells, that means it, it's in you. So the breath of life was, you know, um, breathed into Adam. And then that was passed on through um, down to us from the offsprings of Eve, which is everybody, the first couple, you know? So the breath of life is still being breathed through us and it's in our blood and it's in the air around us as we breathe in the breath of life every few seconds you know like we're just constantly breathing in the breath of life as long as we're a living conscious being in this physical world so 
And so as we breathe in this breath of life, we are breathing in, you know, something to do with a spiritual thing. It's not like, like people are just like, oh, you're just breathing. Like it's no big deal, but it's actually a very big deal. We're just used to it because we do it all the time. And, but that's how a baby, when a baby takes his first breath, that's the, you know, that's like the breath of life right there. And they, you breathe until you're done with your physical body. But um, the, now the soul, um, so so if the breath of life animates us, that's the moment that, that, that must be a moment when our soul becomes a living being. But um, if there's something in us, like a spirit or a soul, I don't believe that would require breath, like a soul itself. So maybe the breath of life is what it is, maybe, you know, but that would be another discussion anyway. So with silent prayer, though, now we know that we are definitely on to something here where uh, the spirit of God lives in us and we are the temple, our body's the temple. So when we silently pray, you know, it might not be a physical location, you know, where uh, God would have to hear us from if he's dwelling in us. You know, so um, the, the macro and the micro of reality, as we discussed in my video about uh, a dream within a dream, could be an infinite process. And, you know, like, not, it doesn't even have to be infinite if you don't want it. It could be layers and levels within them where, you know, reality and, you know, all these places that we we think of in the spiritual world, they might not necessarily have to be um, uh, physical locations. But, you know, it does say, like, there's a lot of references where they say that um, God's throne is above us and above the firmament. I believe they, you know, a lot of times they say so. I mean, we have to like we we don't have to exclude that because the physical world could could contain a hierarchy structure in a physical place where God is. But I mean, it also makes sense that God is everything. And all things are within God. So, you know, um, and within us is God. So if all things are within God, because God created everything, and if everything's contained within, um, within this uh, creator, and then we are seeing that God is also within us. So we are within God's, you know, mind or presence or consciousness, but also God is within us. So um, when we silently, silently pray, we are seeing that this could be um, a secret in 1 Corinthians uh, 3.16, where it says God's spirit lives in us and we could actually be... Um, there could be something to that. That's how he's all knowing and he knows all thoughts. And, you know, it's like nothing is hidden from him because he's within us and all of us. One of the um, translations says, um, do you not know that God's spirit lives in all of you, you know, all of you together? So, like, it's not just you as an individual, it's all of us all of us there's like seven billion people on this earth they say so god the spirit would be in all of us and then atheists are going around like proof of god i need proof of god i need proof of god but really proof of god is your consciousness like you being alive and a living being and the physical world around you that's proof of god because God's spirit lives in you. So you're you're looking all over the place for this God, but you know, he, he lives in you. So it's hidden in plain sight. You know, God God is like hidden in 
proof of God is hidden in plain sight. So, um, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section and the description box. Um, also, I'll leave links to my other channels and my social media, and I'll leave a link if you want to donate to the channel. You can donate as little as a dollar, and you get access to exclusives. So, this has been Feed Your Mind. Thanks for tuning in. Signing off.